Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how does reinforcement learning works. In the previous videos, I have discussed different concepts on reinforcement learning. The link for those videos is given in the description below. To understand how does reinforcement learning works, we need to understand two main things in reinforcement learning. The first one is environment and the second one is agent in this case. Environment can be anything such as a room, maze, football ground or anything in that case. So in this example, I am going to consider a grid of uh, 3 by 4 size where 3 rows are there and uh, 4 columns are there in each and every row over here. Agent is an uh, intelligent uh, agent or you can say that a robot in this case. You can notice uh, in the ninth grid, a uh, ninth cell, you can say that we have a robot. Uh, the task of this particular robot is to reach this particular goal. So this is the goal in this case, that is S4 over here. Uh, what this particular uh, the robot has to do is it has to follow a smallest uh, path or you can say that the shortest path or also you can say that an optimal path and it has to go to this particular uh, goal state in this particular case. Uh, in this case, we have one more very important thing that is S8. S8 is uh, the fire or you can say that uh, the uh, danger in this particular case. And S6 is the block. Uh, this uh, a robot cannot uh, pass through this particular S6 over here. Now, this is how this particular uh, grid looks like. Now, whenever this particular agent, AI robot reaches this particular uh, the goal state, he will be given a reward of uh, plus one and whenever he goes through this particular pit or you can say that a fire he will be given a reward of minus one in this case so as stated earlier the goal of this particular robot is to find an optimal path and then uh, reach this particular goal state over here so in this case uh, we have multiple paths to reach this particular goal state i have written one in this case and how to get this particular path we will discuss in detail uh, with the help of some different algorithms in the next videos but for time being just uh, understand that uh, this is the one path with which the agent can reach this particular goal that is he can go from s9 to s5 s5 to s1 s1 to s2 s2 to s3 and finally goal state over here now the uh, and when it reaches this particular goal state it, it will be given a reward of uh, plus one over here now let us say that uh, the agent has gone from S9 to S5. Now it should not come back to this particular uh, S9. So that's the reason what uh, in what actually happens in reinforcement learning is whenever it goes from one state to other state, it will that particular state will be marked with the value 1 here. Uh, it looks something like this. So whenever it goes from S9 to S5, the value is assigned to 1. Whenever it goes from S5 to S1, again the value is assigned to 1 and the same thing will be repeated unless and until it reaches this particular goal state. This is the one path the agent can follow so that it can reach this particular goal state. It is not the only path actually here. It is the one path out of all possible uh, paths over here. Now let us take an example or the problem with this particular approach. Uh, let us say that uh, the agent is present in this particular uh, cell that is S1. Now, when he is present in this particular cell S1, whether he has to go to this particular S2 or S5 is the question here. Because the previous state is in this case is V is equal to 1 here also. In this case also, the V is equal to 1. Where Whether this is the previous state or this is the previous state, that is a big question over here. Because we know that this is the optimal path and the agent is present in this particular cell. He has to go to this particular goal here. But the question is, it has to go through this particular path or it has to go toward this particular path. That is the question in this particular case. Because in this case also, we have V is equal to 1 here. Here also, we have V is equal to 1 over here. So, to avoid this particular thing, uh, we have to assign some values or you can say different values for different cells over here. Because if you assign 1 to every cells, it is very difficult to find an optimal path over here. To avoid this particular thing, uh, what we need to do is we need to use some equation. Uh, like a Bellman equation or something like that and then we need to assign some different values for different cells for example if a particular cell is uh, close to this particular goal it should be given a maximum value the next cell should be given uh, smaller than this one and the next one should be given smaller than, than this one and the same thing should be repeated for all and all the cells over here so uh, and then this particular agent can follow a path which will give the maximum reward in that particular case so, for example, uh, if we consider this one only, 
this one is present more closer to this particular goal it will be given a maximum value this s2 is more near to this particular s4 so it will be given more value compared to s5 because it is having more value the robot will follow this particular path rather than this particular path over here so we will discuss in details about how to assign the value or a different value to each and every cell with the help of uh, bellman equation in the next video i will put that particular uh, videos link in the description below for your reference so in this video i have just discussed what are the different uh, elements of uh, reinforcement learning and uh, how reinforcement learning works in general a specific algorithm like uh, bellman equation q learning and all we will discuss uh, uh, separately one by one in this video series i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching